everyone, it's Allie, and welcome to Storytime Shorts with the Rapid City Public Library. Today we're going to be reading Spork by Kyle McClear and illustrated by Isabel Arsenault. I'd like to thank Kids Can Press for letting us read this book today. Spork. Spork was neither spoon nor fork, but a bit of both. He had a mum and a dad who both thought he was perfect just the way he was. But Spork stuck out. In his kitchen, forks were forks and spoons were spoons. Cutlery customs were followed closely. Mixing was uncommon. Naturally, there were rule breakers, knives who, loves cho who loved chopsticks, tongs who married forks, but such families were unusual. Hmm. One day, after the billionth time he was asked, what are you anyway? And the zillionth time he was passed over when the table was being set, Spork sighed and thought, it must be easier to be a single thing. And he decided he'd try to pick just one thing to be. He thought he should start by trying to fix his head. He put on a bowler hat to look more spoonish, but the forks thought he was too round. Then he made a paper crown to look more forkish, but the spoons thought he was too pointy. Spork wondered if there were any other lonely creatures out there with no matching kind who never got chosen to be at the table. At dinner time, he watched from the drawer while the spoons played pea hockey and skillfully balanced boiled eggs. He sat off to the side while the forks raked fancy patterns in the mashed potatoes and twirled noodles around in complicated circles like rhythmic gymnastics. And at the end of this and every other meal, Spork looked on while the others enjoyed a super bubbly bath in the sink. Until one morning, a messy thing arrived. This messy thing had obviously never heard of cutlery customs or table manners. No, this messy thing smeared and spilled and flung and clumped and dripped without a care. Wait, said the forks, but this messy, messy thing did not want to wait. Careful, said the spoons, but this messy thing was not careful. Help, said the forks, while the messy thing continued to slop and splatter. Quick, said the spoons. Now, a fork may be good for poking and picking, and a spoon may be good for fine scooping and stirring. But this messy thing with its slurpy and clumsy half-finished food bits needed something else. Something that could do all sorts of things at once. Something flexible and easy to hold. Something that was neither spoon nor fork, but a bit of both. <gasps> That's when Spork landed. The messy thing saw Spork and immediately stopped and gurgled. It grabbed Spork and held him motionless in its fists. It tapped him once and let out a cheerful shriek. It wagged Spork excitedly up and down. And that's how Spork finally and happily found his way to the table with a baby. <laughs> just a bit round, just a bit pointy, just right. The end. What a sweet book. There is a place for everyone at the table, including sporks and forks and spoons and knives and all of the other cutlery out there. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today for Storytime Shorts. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with our latest stories and everything else that we're doing here at the Rapid City Public Library. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.